Hello and welcome back to another tutorial with Stefan's Bilderbed. Today I would like to have a closer look at the trailer templates of Apple. As some of you may know, you can do some changes inside those trailers, but not very much. So there's a little trick uh, a subscriber has told me about and I would like to show you this trick as well. And there you will be able to change the trailers as you like them. Okay, as usual, if you like the uh, tutorial, make a thumbs up or subscribe and of course share with your friends. If you want to learn some German, the same video is as well available, available in German and hopefully a bit better than my English. Okay, so see you next time. Have a nice day and bye. And here we are in iMovies. Okay, first create a new project and then you will have the little images of the trailers which are available. If you click onto one of the images, uh, you will get a little preview. So in this case, that's an old movie. Yeah, but I guess I go for the surf kit. Yeah, like the clouds. Okay. Then of course you need a good name for the whole thing. So let's call it trailer. Okay, and we will leave it at 24 frames per second. Okay, and here's the storyboard. You can change some things inside here. Of course, the names and stuff like this. What you can't change are the colors and the font and the size and stuff like this. But I will show you how to do this in a minute. Most of the big movie companies have their claim here. Uh, one thing you can't do, uh, you can't put the names of them inside. That's for some reason forbidden and doesn't work. So now we have to fill our placeholders with yeah, little clips. So let's see what we get. Okay, and now let's have a look at the result. Okay, looks quite nice already, but now we want to have a look how we can do a bit more. So uh, look out for project conversion. I think that's the English translation, I hope so. But you will find it anyway. And then you will have the whole trailer inside the timeline. Here you can change, of course, the music. And as well, the clip lengths and things like this. What you can't change is the text inside the starting clip. So even if you click on the text button on the right, uh, it's not possible to change the text. So you have to think about this in front and change it in the story board. But if you want to, you can change the background here. But you can change the text in 
all the other clips. That's not a problem at all. Just click on them and do the usual stuff. Look for the text and for the color and whatsoever. One thing you can do as well, you can just click on the clips, press I and change the effect. So uh, in this case, it was given the black and white. So I go for the CPR and I think that's a nice look. Also, you can change the speed and the length of the clip as well. Yeah, it looks quite nice so far. So one thing I can do as well, in this case, I can bring up the sound. Normally, iMovie will just put down the sound of the original clip, so you can hear the music much better, but I can bring back the sound again if I want to. This was it for today. I hope the tutorial was helpful and you liked it, so please go for a thumb up and share with your friends. Hope to see you the next time. Have a nice day. Bye bye.